This is just a general reading, by the way. Okay, so recently you cut off or ended like a negative or toxic friendship, relationship, family, whoever it was, you ended it and you began working on yourself or working on something creative or just working on your job. You're actually putting a lot of work into something, like you're, you're doing your best. Because you know that this is going to make you happy, but... You might be feeling burdened or stuck over like communication. Oh, okay. So someone hasn't communicated with you in a while and it might be causing you a little bit of anxiety. But it's saying to use your intuition about this person because they always left you conflicted. They always left you like not knowing like, they always left you in the dark. Like they never were completely honest with you. Oh, okay. So they snuck and lied. They snuck and lied constantly. This person is just not a good person for you. And they started to make you feel conflicted about yourself and your intuition and like, no. So it says, take your time with this creative idea that you have. Don't feel so guarded and anxious. Like, just take your time. Like, maybe you're rushing yourself or you feel like, oh, I have to do it in a certain amount of time. You absolutely do not take your time. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so you're definitely holding on to something from your past. And you need to know this. Some of, the, some of us don't want to admit it. But you're definitely holding on to something from your past that ended. But you need to keep working on yourself. Like right now is the time to be working on yourself. Like you know what you want and you know what you need to do to get it. And it's saying to just keep being a good person, keep being a giving person. And you're you're gonna be coming into like a lot of stability or just stability in general like you could become a boss or someone who has leverage in life but there is gonna be like someone who's gonna come in and try to offer you something romantically and it's saying to be strong and leave this person out in the cold like do not even entertain them because right when you end this, there's gonna be someone else coming in or someone else that you're gonna meet that's gonna be like your wish fulfillment, like everything you've ever wanted. So it's saying like, don't even look at them. Like don't think that's all you have, like absolutely not because you're gonna be getting someone new. You're gonna start to like see that you're like celebrating more or just having more fun, like during your everyday life in general, like you're more happy and excited to wake up in the morning and yeah yeah you're definitely like something about your future or something that you want to come in like you do want it to come in but you still feel like confused about something like it's kind of messing with like your emotions and leaving you heartbroken because you're very confused about what to go forward and do but it says you're gonna be happy. You just need to stay committed to manifesting. And maybe you've been doing like affirmations or manifestation, whatever it is, even meditating. But it says something you've been doing, like keep doing that, you're gonna manifest really good things. So stay committed to that. It's something that you're doing in your home. Stay committed to doing that. Definitely keep praying, doing everything that you're, you've been doing or just start doing it more. Cause it's helping, it's working. Yeah, it's just, it's saying to just work on yourself and your healing and like saving your money and just, yeah, and leave anything out in the cold that makes you feel like defensive or like guarded. Like that's usually your intuition telling you about someone like you could usually tell, but there's a lot of things that we let like go, but definitely listen to those things. Maybe there's someone from your past that maybe communicated to you and maybe you just didn't answer or you're kind of going back and forth in your head like, should I answer them? Should I not? Like, 